Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a, a short video here on a 140 Piranha electric start semi-automatic engine. It's 2023. I just picked this motor up on Friday. Um, it comes with, like, at least mine didn't. It didn't come with any literature on the wiring for this engine. So, I mean, it came with the harness, the motor, uh, a carburetor, you know, the stuff to, to put it together. Um, so the wiring on this, it, it's, a, it's got the CDI, it's got a rectifier, it's got your coil, comes with a spark plug, and I wasn't sure how to hook the wiring up for the starter. I uh, didn't want to fry anything on the, you know, with the components and stuff because you just can't run down to your local, you know, hardware store or bike shop. I mean, you could, but it'd be, you don't want to ruin what you've got. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just going to give you a short little rundown. I figured it out. Watched like a ton of videos on it. Uh, it there was a kid actually that I come across a video by chance that he kind of showed me how he did it. And I just kind of went from that. So what I did, I got an old 12 volt battery. It's off of uh, an old snowmobile that I had. It, it's been on charge. It's got 11.5 uh, to 12 volts. I used a DC multimeter. Uh, you should, I mean, if you have one, it's a handy thing. You can check your battery. So what I did to bench test this, um, this is the first time I've ever had an electric start engine or anything that's new. I usually play with the older engines. It's, I'm gonna put this in a CT70, a little Honda. So I'll just give you a rundown of how I got the electric start to work. Everything else uh, in the wiring harness with these little plugs, they pretty much go in their own certain spot. Um, I didn't run into anything that you could take the same plug and plug it into two different plugs. Maybe your harness is a little different. Uh, if you run into that, I guess just check the color of the wires from one side of the plug to the other side of the plug. That's another good way to check it. Uh, count the pins inside before you plug it in to make sure they match. All right. Yeah, it comes with a key switch. And all this is, is just says it's off and ignition. So it's not, a, you don't start with this like a car. It just, all you do is you turn that on and it energizes your system and you start the vehicle. This would go on your handlebars or unless you're going to put a different switch on it, but that's your start switch and that's your kill switch for the engine once it's running. All right. Um, an important thing to know, once you get this hooked up and I show you, this little piece of foil over your intake going into the head of your engine, just pull that back out of the way. Because when you do crank the starter over, <clears throat> it's it's basically, it's sucking air in because it thinks you're starting the engine. So I mean, you don't have a carburetor on this and there's no air going through the carb down into it. So it'll try to suck that little piece of foil <clears throat> down into your valves. So just pull that back out of the way. All right, so I'll give you a rundown here. So you got your 12 volt lead, comes in the harness. It's got a fuse, goes back into your, your wiring loom. All right, it's got a ground wire, has a small ground green wire coming off that that runs into your harness as well. And it'll, you have to plug all these little little plugs together. Okay, you gotta plug everything together. All right, and on your engine, um, not necessarily, you don't have to plug these, but I plugged them in because I just wanted to see if I had uh, 12 volts coming back out of the yellow wires. And that's for powering your lights or accessories. Just remember this, this uh, bike that I'm using has six volt um, lights, horn, and flasher. So I'll have to change all that to 12 volt. If you're playing with a bike with 12 volt lights and stuff on, I think you'd be fine. But just remember that this engine puts out, uh, I think it's three, 35 watts or something. Anyways, it puts out enough energy to run all the lights on a small motorcycle that you would see driving on the road from the factory. Uh, this engine will run it. Um, so, but everything today is 12 volts. The bikes that I'm playing with back in the day, they're like from the 70s and they use six volt systems on them. All right, so back to the, the 12 volt. So you run your power wire down. This is your solenoid, okay? And it's one power wire from the battery, positive. There's no positive or negative on the coil. I think, I'm pretty sure you can, you can wire it either way because all this is is a switch. When you open the switch, it just 
but this it branches these two positives on the inside so it makes contact so if you hook the power onto this side and you hook this power from the starter onto this side it doesn't matter because it just opens the loop and it lets this power flow through so it doesn't matter if you have this over here the power will just flow through back through and then back down to your starter starter has one wire on this model one power wire which is the bigger wire and it plugs into the starter underneath your engine okay so you just connect these two wires together right your negative side if you follow my finger it kind of goes down up and over to here so remember it needs ground and this engine you don't have it installed in a bike if you're doing it on the bench nothing's grounded so I tucked the ground wire from the battery and I just stuffed it in this it's just a vent holder you see the little brass round end that's where you would normally screw this wire to the frame or something or screw it bolt it to the engine to give you ground and this is just a jumper wire that I made up with two alligator clips and I got it running around down and I just got it hooked onto the bottom of the little stud on, on the, that's your coil right see and that's your spark plug I'll show you that in a minute you don't have to do this right now you can do this after it's in the bike I just want to test everything to make sure it all works before I put it in the bike okay so how this solenoid works you have your two you have your positive coming in positive going to the starter that's the only two wires so it's red to red it just has a black cover on which look down there it's red so it's positive there's no ground on these it's just positive positive to positive right and if you look inside you'll see two little wires and you'll see another little wire coming out that's not a spark plug but that's just a cover and this wire runs back into your loom but it, it'll go all the way back around and it comes down here and this comes back to this so this is your start button so how this works bring this over here remember this wire is this wire okay when you hit this start button it sends 12 volts because your key's on it's just a switch here when you push that in it puts 12 volts through one of these wires and it opens a switch inside of this which allows this current to go to this post which turns your starter over but it won't work if you don't have it grounded you have to have a ground from your battery post negative side to something on the engine that's metal to ground it out to make the loop the circuit because that's using the engine so when you hit this opens that switch sends power through it'll stop right there if it can't continue the loop so it needs the engine needs to be grounded not a big deal it's not even bolted in I just have it kind of pushed in it's pinched between that little uh, vent tube bracket so I'll turn the key on I think I already did Oops. Yeah, so turn the key on. All that is just now everything's live. And I push your, where's this, where did I put it? Uh, right there, okay. Make sure your foil's pulled off your intake and push your starter button. All it's going to do is open that circuit and there you go. So we know that everything's right. It's pretty simple, but without a wiring diagram, I was worried about does it, what happens if I hook it up wrong. Am I going to pop a fuse? Am I going to, you know, smoke something? But no, everything's good. So now we'll go over to the coil. Like I said, I have a jump wire. It's ground. Don't go by the color of the wire. It's just a jumper wire. And it's grounded. So I have this hooked to the metal part of the coil. Back, right back over here to where I grounded the uh, battery. Did the same thing. It's just a ground. The wire runs it down to your coil. We'll set the spark plug up on the motor the spark plug needs to set on metal because essentially it needs to be grounded as well so when we crank that over you should see a spark there you go and that's it i hope this helps you out um, these engines are supposedly supposed to be strong decent engines and uh, just wish they'd throw a little more paperwork in with it when they send them or at least have a website you can go to there's a lot of videos out there but most of these engines that you watch on those videos don't have electric start they just show you the basic your plug-and-play wiring for your coils and all that stuff and 
some of them have two yellow wires coming off for lighting accessories okay all right hope this helped you out